Welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. I just lost my recording. I'm not sure how much of this recorded, but uh, I'm just starting to add the papers that I made on part one to my tin. That is going to be, this was a CD tin. It did have those plastic CD thingies in there, but I took them out. I didn't want to cover them with paper and all that stuff because the plastic just sounded ugh. So I just decided to use papers. So I used my Cricut to cut out the scallops for the front and the back and the inside. And then I created this for each page. And it's going to be a mini for my three nieces, my great nephew Tillman and my and Stacia's Tillman's going to be a big brother in July, so I made an extra page so I'll have room for the baby. Neither of my other two nieces better be having babies soon. Just saying. So I'm just making sure I get out towards the edge. You don't need a whole lot of glossy accents. It sticks pretty well. But I do want to make sure I get out to the edges so it doesn't get messed up when it's in my purse or whatever. I want the edges to be stuck down well. Okay, there's a little dent here. I don't know if it was there when Dee Dee had it, but I'm just... The thing is, you don't want to move it after you put it down, so I don't really want to get the glossy accents out on the other side. There. Oh, I did take my medication, this my uh, allergy pills this morning. I do not know why my nose is dripping like a faucet today. Sheesh. Of course, I'm glad it is because if it doesn't, that's when when it doesn't, that's when I get uh, sinus infections when my nose doesn't drip. So that's good, I guess. It's a good thing. Excuse me again. Okay. All right. So yeah, I like the silver. All right. And now the inside. Oh, sorry about the glare. I'll try and keep it where you're not going to get too much glare there. I'm getting the glare is coming on to me instead of you. But anyway. So I'm just following around the scallops, getting as close to the edge as I can, but not really close. The edge will spread out when I press it down. And then making some wiggles in the middle. So the tin is uh, five inch. Well, the outside's five and a quarter. Um, so I cut the scallop circles at four and three quarters on my Cricut. And the pages are cut at five. Circles are five. Because I want it to have as much room for photos as I can. Actually, you know what? Inside on this page, I think I'm going to put that family Christmas family photo of all of us on here. And I might have to put a little one of my dad because he's not in that one, obviously. Okay, so... As I'm closing my glossy accents in between because I don't want it to dry up in the nozzle when I tap it to get the, any glue left in the nozzle out of the nozzle too so it doesn't dry. So I'm 
saw that somewhere online. I can't remember who, who I... I saw it on a YouTube. Someone gave that hint. And it always works for me. Especially in between when you're not going to be putting it upside down in between things. So you just do a one, two, three taps and it comes out of a spout. It doesn't take long for this glossy accents to grab onto the metal. It does it here. Just have to be <laughs> yeah, maybe I am sitting too. Sorry, Robin, I just saw that comment. Sitting too close to Darcy. Could be. No, but I'm not sick. It's just, it's allergies. Just, I'm not sick. <clears throat> so, and I better not get sick. Ah, that's all I'm saying. I'm not really near anybody except when I go to the store, so I shouldn't be catching anything. I sit in my nice little house all day long. There we go. So there's the insides. There's the outside. And I have to decide whether I'm going to put... I'm going to wait. I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything around the edges. I haven't decided yet. I may not. I might just leave it like that. Because I do like that. We'll see. Alright, so now what's going to happen is... I tried to get this little rivet thing off, and I really wish I could have, but anyway, that's all right. I'll just put this right over. So next thing I guess I'm going to do is score these. I can find my scoreboard under my avalanching pile of stuff. Hmm. Where is it? That's not it. Where is it? Hold on. Excuse me for a second. I got to Take a better look at this pile. I hope I didn't lose it over the edge. Scoreboard, where are you? Hey, scoreboard. I know you were here. Where did I put it? Maybe I'm just going to use my trimmer. I'm just going to use my trimmer because, yeah, scoreboards should be there, but I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Found my scoreboard. It was under a different pile of stuff. Let me tell you, I have a big desk, and every single section of it, except what you see in the camera, is filled. Okay, turn my. I always score with my scoreboard sideways, much to Paula's confusion. Hold on. Oh. I got some paper. I got avalanche off my desk. Hold on. Where did my... Excuse me for a second. My footstool has gone awry here. I lost. Here, just a second. Excuse me. I have to reach for something. Something I can't reach it. Hold on. Excuse me, my blanket fell off my footstool and my pillow fell off my footstool. There we go. Hold on. My blanket. There we go. Alright, hold on. Roll my seat forward here. There we go. Oh, paper fell on the floor. Alright. Oh, phew, sorry. Yes, I checked the recording. Thank you, Linda. It's recording. <sighs> well, thank you, Mitzi. I think I do, too. That's why I'm leaving. We shall see. All right, so each of these tabs is getting scored at a half inch. So I'm going to do that.
Then these in between, I'm going to leave an eighth uh, gutter, an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to score two scores, an eighth of an inch apart, just so it has a little space, a little give and take, because I'm going to be putting photos in there. And I just want to have a little space. Okay. All right. So huh. I wonder. I might put these in. Same way. Hmm. No, because I don't want to do it that way. Okay, anyway. So let's do all that first. Then I'll show you what I'm doing beyond that. So this is going right up against my board and getting scored at half inch. Then in the middle, it's at five and four and seven eighths and five. I'm scoring it at. What, Susan, Suzanne has a good idea? I missed it. Oh, coffee. Okay. Or something. I still need food. I had, I had a little rice before I started to hold me, but I'm got a Caesar salad out there waiting for me, but I want to get this put together. So, that's okay. I'm not starving, because I did have rice, like I said. So I've got chicken Caesar salad just screaming my name out there in the kitchen. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to have to make a casserole tomorrow. I've got some meat in there that I have to cook up. Oh, I tried so hard to stay up awake last night to watch the, I stayed awake to watch the men's curling and I was trying to stay up so bad to watch the women's curling game. And whenever the men were done, I was out like a light in my computer chair. I slept for like over seven hours in my computer chair last night. For those of you who don't know me, that is a normal thing. Oh doing it the other way. Sorry. These are my unscored ones over here. So I have to decide. There's only one boy, so I have to decide which, which page is going to be for Tills. I already know which one's the new baby. Now I have to decide which one's going to be Tills. Well, actually, yeah, we'll see. Hmm. Four and seven eighths and five. It's really cool. Um, actually, this cardstock is the Staples 100, uh, what is it, 110 pound, just the regular cardstock that you buy at Staples. Cardstock, not cardstock. 
And um, and um, adding the acrylic paint onto it's really cool. It almost feels like canvas. I think that's going to be tills. That one's going to be tills. This one's going to be Sarah's. It's kind of rough and tumble, and she's in the Navy. Well, she's at, she's at Military University at the moment, Military College of Canada. She's definitely not, well, she is a girly girl, but she's definitely a, let me tell you, if you ran into her, you want it to cause trouble. She's all of five feet, maybe five foot and half an inch. And you'd think, ah, you know, I can take her on. Ah, yeah, she's just a bit tough. Do you, Erica? Mitzi, you silly girl. Duh. Not me. Stacia. Silly. Why don't you start rumors? At this point in time, it would be in the second immaculate conception. If it was me. Okay. Oh yeah, she says that and then she takes off, chicken. This one's going to be the new baby, because it's good for a girl or a boy. Not that I'm really into colors anyway. So what's going to happen is I'm just making, it's going to be completely accordion. Okay, to figure this out. So that's gonna go on like that. So I have to decide. Yes, because that's the orange and green, so that'll work. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now because this is going on acrylic paint, actually I maybe I should use a, I wonder if I should use glossy accents instead. Might. That should be alright. Never really used, this is a miracle tape. It's not the... Uh, All right, I have to get this. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, did I put the tape? No, I put it on the right side. Okay, hold on. Ah, everything's getting in the way. Okay, I think I'm going to use, it'll work better if I use my, hold on, I'm going to use my scoreboard as a liner upper. It has a nice edge here, so you can line things up. Okay, so as long as I have enough of the two circles...
that there. That, there we go. I'm just trying to make, I want to get it, because if it gets all out of alignment, it's not going to fit in the tin. That's all. Might want to fold the tap under, then stack the circles. Oh, well, how smart are you? Thank you, Carol. Thank you, thank you. Very smart you are. Okay. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I think I'm going to have to use glossy accents. I don't know. Thank you, Carol. Perfect. So this is the new baby. This is Till. All right. So then Stacia. Let's see. I think that looks like Stacia. No, that looks like Jessica. This one will be Stacia. Okay. I actually think I'm going to use glossy accents. I knew there had to be an easy way, easy way to do this. Night, Dana. Glad you could come. Okay, so next layer, lining up. This is Sunset Carol and my chat who told me to stack my circles, fold the tab under, and then glue it down. She's so smart. Whoever was PMing Robin sent her a DM on Twitter because she can't get PMs on her iPad. Just giving in case you didn't see Robin's request there. This one. <clears throat> so I'm doing alternating ends here. And then this last tab is going to attach to case. So. Uh -huh. Ooh. Okay. 
So I'm trying to make sure that I upload all my recordings to YouTube on the night that I record them so that the YouTube date is also actually the date that I recorded on, on Ustream. So that if any issues arise, I will remember and know what date I recorded things. Okay, sorry, I need a drink of favorite water here. It's actually iced tea. Okay. All right, so, all right, so now my pages are going to go like this. Oops, so this is going to be, hold on. It's gonna be the baby, so it's gonna, so I'm doing it like this, like this, like this, like this, like this this, like this, and like that, and this will attach One that way. Hmm. Or do I want it to go? I guess this would be smarter, right? Yeah. Either way. Okay. That has to go that way. Okay. So I think, oh, that's interesting. It's, that one's the puckery. Uh, that's what we get for using liquid adhesive and not getting it all flattened down. Rats. Are they puckering on the front? That's funny because they're not, the front and the back are not puck puckering. Well, a little bit there. Not much really. Huh. I should have I should have left this one with the tab. The bottom one. That was the one that was taped, isn't it? <laughs> Yay. Bottom one needs to have the tape. All right, so need to fix this one up. I'm glad the one that I messed up actually was the one I put down with tape because it was easy to take back off. Hey! Hi, Susan! Nice to see you! <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, so now, uh oh, hold on. I lost the accents on my scoreboard. That's not good. All right, 
I can move my scoreboard now because I really don't need it. Okay, where's my bottom tab? There it is. Okay, so it's got tape on it, but it's also going to get some glossy accents. Uh oh. Hold on. It didn't stick. Why did it not stay? I'm okay, Susan. I've got my feet up and I'm home until at least after our March break, which is the first week of March. So I've got another month off. Got to get the swelling down more. They feel good today, though. So I think they've done well the last few days since my last treatment. So I'm washing my garments right now. So. Oh, now before I do this, I was going to, let me take this off. Okay, sure, now that I want to take, want it to come off, it won't come off. There we go. Okay, I want to, let's just put a little piece of tape. Are you doing pause? Come here. She's out in the kitchen crying or living room crying away or something. Come here, pause. Come here. What you doing? Okay. So now I want to get this centered here. Hi, what are you doing? What? Oh, I know I'm too long, aren't I? Yeah, what's going on? Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can hear her or not. What, Paz? What's going on, baby girl? Uh-oh, we carols. Oh, am I sure I want to hook it in before I put the pictures on? Hmm. Do I want to? Um, I don't know. Do I want to? Ta-da! Um, do I want to? I guess. <laughs> Probably shouldn't. It didn't stick anyway, so that's good. So I will leave it, but that's how it's going in. Alright, that's how it's going in. Cordy and fold. Like that. Ta da! And then the cover goes on like that. So that's how it goes. Yeah, you're right, Carol. That's true. I'll just let the glossy accents dry and not uh, not adhere. No worries. I'll just wipe the glossy accents off there. There we go. Mitzi, this was gifted to me from Didi. So 
You'll, you'd have to ask Dee Dee. Yeah, so she had it laying around from something or the other. And uh, so, she, you know, she said she didn't think she'd did use it. And I said, well, I'll alter it. And so, yeah. So there it is. So now I have to take a picture and get stuff at least half put away so we don't. I'm going to try and do a half hour at a time, a couple of times a day, to try and get some things done around here while I'm off for the next month. My legs are starting to feel a little better. Should be able to get something done. So thank you everyone who came to watch. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Just love getting all pasty with my jelly plate. Oops, let me get this back on here. Oh, oh I think I'm bent it. I did. I did. I bent it. I may have to fix that. I should bend right back. Don't know my own strength when I was trying to pull it off. Hold on. going on. All right, I'll fix that later. <laughs> I'll just close it for now. So thank you very much. Yeah, it had, uh, Susan, it used to have those plastic round, used to have these inside for CDs. I took them out. And so I'm going to have, actually, we have a family photo that I'm going to put on the front and an older family photo that I might put on the back in the bottom. And then the other pages are going to be for my three nieces and my great grand nephew. And I've got a page in there ready for when the other baby's born in July. So Phil's little brother or sister. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. I really do. I love it. I really love it. And I'm getting the hang of color matching and making sure things are dry so I don't make mud. And Yeah, so really love it. Now if I can just, when I go home, I, oh. I don't know. When I go home at Easter, it's only four days, but I'll only really be home three might have to try and take something home to get my sister hooked. Anyway, so thank you everyone for coming. I'm going to stop the recording here.